When I first looked my parents dead in the eye and said, Mum, Dad, I want to study maths at university. Not accountancy, not engineering, but straight up maths. Their first question was, well, okay, that's respectable, I guess, but what job do you actually get from doing maths? And for a long time, I didn't have an answer until when we went to go visit a university and spoke to a proper maths professor, my parents asked him the same question and his response was, well, one of our students became an actuary. And everyone in the room went, all right, okay then. What's that? Well, strap yourselves in, kick your feet up and keep your hand on your hair, Penny, because today we're doing the seven levels of actuarial science. Level one, normie. Here you'll learn single variable calculus, basic algebra, probability, and a bit of statistics. You'll be solving basic probability problems, finding expected values and variances using standard distributions like the binomial distribution or the normal distribution to model real life scenarios. You don't realize it yet, but on this level, you're actually in the beginning stages of your actuarial journey. Journey. Actuarial science requires a strong ability to use pure mathematics and statistics along with real world knowledge of finance, economics, technology and so on. On this level though you're still learning generic mathematics and you're not yet dead set on the actuarial path. Most people in my experience in the UK prefer pure mathematics and mechanics over statistics but I think that that's actually because of the way that they teach it. It's because the statistics curriculum in the UK is horrible. Like, I remember literally having to learn about how cloud cover is measured in octaves and about trace amounts of rainfall and where the weather stations of the world, the main ones, are based at. Like, you've got Heathrow in UK and you've got... Uh, Perth, Australia, you've got Beijing, China, and what all the different climates are like. Why is that in the UK curriculum? That's geography. Level two, student. Now you're a student at some learning institution studying either actuarial science itself, or maybe mathematics, or maybe straight statistics, or maybe even finance, but with a heavy sort of maths tilt. And you're getting your teeth stuck into some more advanced calculus, both discrete and continuous models, multivariable calculus, and maybe also starting to introduce some financial mathematics, bringing real world application to mathematics rather than just sitting in some damp, sweaty room all day doing numbers. You kind of need to have a university level mathematics understanding in order to be on this level. So if you're a big sweaty man called Dave who goes to the pub, comes home, beats up his wife, watches footy, then all of this information will probably go right over your bald head. Level three, the spreadsheet master. You have a spreadsheet for everything. Life contingencies, savings portfolios, statistical modeling of how likely a trip to France is gonna make you go bankrupt. This is where modern technology comes in handy. After all, no matter how many years you've spent in university, a modern computer will still make calculations billions of times faster than you could ever dream of. So you'll have to learn to use Excel, Python, and R to do statistics on real data sets. Otherwise, you'll just end up sitting there for hours and hours on end doing arithmetic that a computer could have done in literally less than a second. But if you're the type of person who corrects someone when they use the word probable instead of likely, or if they use the words possibility and probability interchangeably, then yes, you're probably correct, but you're also possibly a massive twallop. Level four, the corporate actuary. Congratulations, Mr. Nerdy McNerdface. You have acquired an unpaid internship as an assistant to a real actuary. But of course, it's not like your university degree will just get you a job like that. You have to spend months and months on end making coffee for an actuary because somehow that's supposed to like help you. But to be fair, to become an actuary, you do need real world knowledge of how an office is generally run. Like here's the HR department, here's the finance department, you'll work closely with them. Here's the IT guys, don't talk to them because they're all weird and stink of beer because at the end of the day, it's called actuarial science, not imaginarial science. <laughs> that was a joke. Laugh, it was funny. It was funny, laugh. And you also need to know how to talk to normal people. People who own more pairs of shoes than they do calculators. I know, weird, right? People who think that algebraic geometry is when you use letters with geometry and that topology is when a donut equals a mug. Level five, enterprise actuary. When someone asks you what is actuarial science, you reply with 
my job. It's no wonder you have no friends. But at least now you're finally out of school and doing what you were studying in school, so when someone asks you to explain stochastic simulations or black skulls, you can do it like an expert without using words like messy or confusing. You're working closely with project managers and business analysts doing risk assessment, which slowly becomes your new personality. On this level, you can begin earning some serious cash, because actuarial scientists are a bit like accountants, but like more maths here. So you, you'll be paid like pretty good wage. Big companies will pay top dollar to have some maths guy come in and predict whether they're gonna go bankrupt in the next year. But of course, what got you into it is the love of the pursuit of actuarial science and you totally weren't expecting to be paid so much. Oh, it's just a, just an extra, you know, side thing that you definitely were not aiming for in the beginning to begin with and that was actually the primary goal of why you studied actuarial science. And that percentage for me has just gone down because this video is sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant is a website and mobile application which helps you excel in math and computer science with visual, interactive problem solving and personalized productive, precise, purposeful, principled, pedagogical practice. When I got to university, I realized that there's nothing really that special about people who study maths at uni. Because there are plenty of people who have almost superhuman levels of ability, but they get nowhere because they don't apply themselves. And also so many people who have seemingly average levels of intelligence, but become masters in the field because they break down complicated problems into very basic, simple ideas that even a five-year-old could understand. Brilliant believes that everyone is a maths person, because it's usually not the maths itself that's complicated, but it's the way that you learn the maths that can feel confusing and hard. Instead of being forced to memorize formulas like you were in school, you get hands-on with the concepts until you understand it from a fundamental level, helping you to develop the intuition and problem-solving skills so you can figure things out on your own. If you want to get started on your actuarial journey, or you're just curious about data science, then Brilliant's data courses cover everything from data visualizations to advanced topics like algorithms and regression models and feature real-world data from Airbnb, Spotify, and Starbucks, and more. To learn for free on Brilliant for a full 30 days, go to brilliant.org forward slash the unqualified tutor, scan the QR code on screen, or click the link in the description. Brilliant's also given our viewers 20% off of an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited access to everything on there. Thank you, Brilliant. Level six, the actuarial strategist. You've been in the actuarial scene for a couple decades now, and if you played your cards right, you might be managing a team of actuaries or even an actuarial department, maybe even working for different companies, doing different clients, signing on with different deals. The business side of things forced you to be more outgoing and speak to normal people, so you kind of have a weird blend of nerdy mathematician but also very chill, down-to-earth, normal guy who can actually hold a conversation. All that money you were promised in your retirement plan and your 401k and your white picket fence has finally become a reality, but you still don't have a wife and kids yet because whenever you do meet a woman, all you can talk about is business strategy and the Monte Carlo methods and all of this, which is not really the best conversation for a first date. You feel like you've spent your entire life explaining complex mathematics to business executives, so of course you're gonna do the exact same thing the next time you see a five-year-old at the next family gathering. Level seven, a world-class actuarial scientist. This is the cutting edge of actuarial science. Advanced risk theory, longevity studies, or catastrophe, catastrophe modeling is your bread and butter. That means that when you make a sandwich, you just put a slab of cheese in between two slices of advanced risk theory. Your work is shaping the future of the profession because when people have a complex issue, they go to you. You're the go-to guy. Your go-to. But before you answer any of their questions, you go, ah, 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 give me the money, give me the million pounds, give me the million dollar, come on, in my hand. You may have even discovered a new model or theorem that is named after you, which required years of intense study and research to actually discover, but you still don't get recognized in the street. Instead, some guy who made TikTok videos where he did this, gets recognized every day. You're not salty, you're just sweet and sour, lemon and lime, pumpkin spice, iced latte, with a hint of hatred of modern society. If that sounds like you, then join my Discord in the description where we can chat, 
fall in love, have babies together, grow old together, and then die. Click on this video if you want to see more and piss off. Woo! Let's go! Done.